Go ahead and get comfortable. Find a posture that feels stable, balanced, and at ease. And I invite you to really take a moment here Take a moment to just do nothing and feel your body. Feel the ground beneath you. See if you can really tune in to the steadiness and the solidity of the earth. It's ancient, vast, deep planet that holds and connects all of us. And so the life energy in our body is connected to the life energy of the planet. And the heat and the warmth in our bodies from the heat and the warmth of the sun So as you tune into your posture, to the alignment of your spine, openness of your chest, maybe even the softness of your belly, see if you can touch into the strength and the vitality of these forces so much larger than any one of us. vast, stable, holding energy of the earth. The shining, brilliant heat of the sun. and allowing yourself to rest. In times of challenge, in times of intensity, it's all the more important that we find ways to stay clear and balanced. Just step back and allow ourselves to settle because it's from that place of settledness, of clear stillness that we can act powerfully, that we can engage in ways that have the most potential to help. So just resting, resting in the body, resting with your breath if that's supportive. Maybe resting with sound. Just taking it one moment at a time, letting your thoughts just float and move around like leaves in the wind.
What if there were nothing you needed to do right now? If you could allow everything to be just as it is inside. Like little bits of snow in a snow globe, allow things to settle on their own. drifts when we get caught up, just bringing gentleness and care to that moment. We can just smile, being a good friend and companion to our own mind, gently guiding ourselves back to a sense of rest in this moment. So this path of practice is sometimes known as the path of love and understanding. So we practice to become more aware, to see clearly and understand all that it is to be human, the complexity of living in this world. And the natural fruit of understanding is love, the natural expression of wisdom in the world is compassion. And so in times like these, when there's violence, when there's danger, whether it's near or far, for our fellow humans, This is a time to draw on our practice, not to use it as an escape, but to use it as a resource to step into our sense of shared humanity, to step into our sense of loving understanding more fully. Understanding is not complicated, it's simple. People are suffering. This is the truth. Ignorance means to ignore the suffering, to turn away from it. to pretend it's not happening or to be so consumed with our own thoughts, worries in life that we become numb and deaf to the pain of others, to the needs of others. And so as we understand 
we understand what is, we can touch into the heart, allow our heart to be moved. Compassion relies on strength and balance. You can't help someone if you're drowning also. You need to be on solid ground to throw someone a lifesaver. When we get in the water, we have to know what we're doing. And so feel the strength of your own heart, strength of your own body, your own awareness. Maybe the simple rhythm of your own breath. Inviting you to begin to touch into the quality of tenderness and care in your heart for the suffering in the world. So compassion moves towards suffering towards pain with warmth, with a willingness to help, to hold, and to embrace. It's not despair or sorrow. It's not cold detachment or indifference. It's a warm, living, helping hand. So just leaving space to feel or invite the care and compassion in your own heart. And if your heart's filled with sorrow, then the first object of compassion is yourself, your own heart. Just hold that pain with tenderness. It's okay. If your heart feels blank, if it feels numb, See if you can just hold that. Hold that in your awareness with a sense of care. It's okay.
first steps of helping are to see and to care. To see what is and to connect in the heart. Everything flows from there. See if you can notice the strength and the tenderness of compassion. It's a very stable energy. It doesn't wobble. It doesn't falter. It's grounded. It's grounded in the wisdom of knowing and seeing what it is to be human. It's stable, but it's also tender. It's not rigid. It feels, it quivers. It's open to the pain of others, to their grief, to their fear, to their outrage. It doesn't shy away. Instead, it receives and resonates. Let's just sit quietly together for another minute or so, just letting some of the words and reflections settle, staying connected to your own heart, your own body, and this sense of care for others and oneself, the sense of care for oneself and others. <laughs> 